good afternoon i'm coming to you guys today in the afternoon i usually film these in the morning and then post them out and they usually like end up finishing posting by afternoon time and sometimes they post in the morning eh. but um it's afternoon right now uh, i hope you guys had a beautiful beautiful monday hopefully there wasn't any monday blues and you guys just enjoyed the day and got some stuff done and if you just you know wanted to chill i hope you chilled and just had an amazing 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 day but um so i'm just gonna read another like excerpt from my journal that um this one's from february february 27th 2019 um so yeah i'm just gonna read that and the verse was james 1 verses 19 through 27 it says wherefore my beloved brethren let every man be swift to hear and slow to speak slow to wrath for the wrath of man waketh not the righteousness of god wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity and naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass for he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straighteneth and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was but whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein he being not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the word this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious and and burdeneth not his tongue, he deceiveth his own heart. This man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Okay, and the... What I wrote in relation to this, it was, As I wake with each rising sun, let my character become more and more like yours, O Lord. Help my actions to be rooted in love. Let my obedience to your will and your word not just be second nature, let it be my nature. Help me to delight myself in the, in the things that are of you, O God. Help me to continually examine myself and my heart and remove the things that are not of you the things that don't represent your spirit and your character. Give me a charitable heart, a heart that delights in service to others, a heart that only wants to be filled with your truth and love. Help me to be a good listener. Help me to listen more than I speak, so that when I speak, my words come from a place of empathy, understanding, and love. Help me to be slow to anger and wrath. Help me to practice pure religion. Continue to do thy work in me, O Lord. Continue to mold my broken clay into a masterpiece. Use me as your instrument. Help me to be one of your vessels of light and truth and bring others to your kingdom. Let my life and my actions speak louder than my words. Help me to walk in your footsteps. May my deeds be a true reflection of your love. Thank you for the change that you have made and are making in me. So, yes, I just pray that God continues to mold me and make me and fashion me and form me into the woman that he wants me to be, a woman after his own heart, a woman who daily lives out the fruits of the Spirit, who speaks in love and acts in love and um, is just, just like God is just, um, but is and fair and equitable and um, I just pray that all the purposes and the plans that God has ordained and preordained over my life come to pass. And I just, I'm so thankful that nothing, no one can stop it. Not even myself. Um, and not even, not, not any acts of deception, not any, anything, nothing in this world or in the heavens above can stop what God has predestined and preordained in my life. And I believe wholeheartedly that everything that he has in store for me will come to pass 
and so it's just so reassuring to know how good God is and that his promises can truly be stand standed upon and that you know God is just good he will his word will not return unto him void and everything that he has spoken over my life will come to pass and everything that he has spoken over your life will come to pass so I just pray that God keeps me to walk in obedience to his word his will and his way may I follow his commandments and his mandates for my life so that um, he may delight in my presence and vice versa and I may delight in his presence and I just want to smell good in his presence I want to be a child who lays at his feet and a child who he loves to like when I come to lay at his feet he's like oh my child this is one of my my ones that I, I love to, to lay at my feet and I just hope that God takes delight in my heart and I just pray that if there be anything within me that he purifies the posture of my heart and and give it spotless intentions and spotless love um may the will of the lord continue to flourish flourish and flow in my life and um and in your life may only the purposes and plans of god prevail over your life continue to seek him daily continue to walk in his will continue to study his word continue to pray and ask god to do a good work in you and in us so yes i love you all i love you 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 all i really do remember god loves you more he loves you so much more stay in his presence stay in his will that's the best place to be in his hands all right, so enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope it's a beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty outside. Like, oof, it's so pretty outside. Outside is so pretty right now. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the clouds. Look at the clouds. I don't know if you saw that, but like, it's so pretty outside right now. Oof, oof. But, um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!